Today we got a couple things we want to do. We are in the filming mood because earlier today we filmed for a documentary. We're super excited about that. More to come later. Yes, two things. One, we did take a break from trying and we're gonna talk about that. First, uh, we did a TikTok the other day uh, where Charisma was in her bath and I came in and I was hoping to get in the bath with her. But of course that would be very difficult to do. And we said if it got a certain amount of likes, what was 100, it? 100,000. 100,000 likes, then uh, we'd get me in the bathtub. And how many did we end up getting? Over 300,000. <laughs> so I guess we gotta get me in the bathtub. And we're gonna show people why uh, I didn't get in that first time because it's not that easy. So first, we're gonna show uh, trying to make that happen. I think we're gonna have to use our portable Hoyer and then we'll talk about why we're taking uh, a little break from trying. So first we gotta go get the Hoyer. Yes, <laughs> before we go get it. It's so funny because people on TikTok I don't think really know us. It's a lot of random people. And so people were like, oh my gosh, girl, get him in the bathtub. I felt so bad for him. I She's know. terrible, she doesn't deserve him. And I'm like, uh. I'm here taking a self-care bath and like people are coming at me for being like, Oh, how are you gonna get in here? You know, just joking around like we normally do. We're gonna get this Hoyer left and show people that it's not that easy to get Cole in the bathtub. Plus, he's never gone in the bathtub. He has never expressed a single desire. And we said 100,000 likes because we didn't think we'd get it. And now we're like, oh, crap. crap. <laughs> Let's go get the Hoyer lift. Crazy girl. Go get crazy girl. <laughs> She's excited. Oh, oh, oh. In the leaves. What are you doing in the leaves? What are you doing? Go get it. So go get, get it. Go get it. She's like, get what? Oh, sorry, I'm running into you. This way. Here we go. Here it is. Sophie's running. What is that? What is that? There, right, you got it. You're going to the ramp. Cole always hooks it. I love it. Are you stuck? I, I think I stepped on it. You stepped on it. Here we go. Hey, it's working. Nice. This is going much better than expected. <laughs> Sophie's right beside you. Oh, it's turning. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, oh, oh, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Come on in. Perfect. All right, here we, here we are. Now we gotta get into it. Okay, let me hey. shut the doors, it's cold. Yeah, it is, but where's your dog? Sophie, come here crazy. What are you doing out there? Mm -hmm. Of course, we need our phone charger, or tripod. What are you doing? We're transferring. Oh. Right? Yeah. <laughs> of course we need the phone tripod because TikToks are all filmed vertically on the phone. All right, are you getting ready to transfer? Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be behind the scenes of our TikTok video that we're gonna post. And so we're just gonna film for the TikTok video and then um, y'all will see it. <laughs> TikToks usually don't have volume. Sometimes they do, but we're just gonna use text instead of talking. Step two. Pull it up. Remember to cross the leg ones. Yep. Step three. Great, great. Okay. All right, jack it up. Step four. Make sure your butt's under. Okay. Yep. All right. Now, how should we do the step three? I need to take your shower chair out. Just Maybe. hanging out? Yeah, I'm just chilling. <laughs> Here we go. The camera's recording there, right? Step four. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my. All right, we're just gonna take this down. It's, yeah. Don't worry, it's just a tension 
fishing rod. Oh my gosh, cool, I forgot about that. This is why we have blooper videos. <laughs> so easily and like came at me because I didn't do it. It's not that easy. Now this is easy. <laughs> I feel bad for the tension rod. I know, that's scary. Did it hit you? I, I don't quite remember. <laughs> it happened so fast. All right, I'm just gonna have to transfer so we can get this video filmed. Okay. Y'all, I am so wetting. It's so hot. Are you hot? Yeah, you just did that fast. That transfer? All of it. Yeah, thank you. It's easy. It's so easy. One, two, three. Pull your pants up in the process. Ugh. Oh, much better. Hey, Armando. Hi. Tuffy. Oh, good girl. Good girl. What did you think of all that? Was that some craziness? Okay. Ooh. I am tired. Well, that, that was a fail. What do you think of all that, Sophie? Yeah? Yeah? She said, good job, guys. Good job, parents. That should be a fun TikTok. Yeah, so. Even we failed. I know. <laughs> so yeah, that was a big fail, but it was a good example for TikTok like that. Mm -hmm. Don't just assume people can do stuff easily because that was very challenging and a little bit scary, actually. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't think of the legs, not nope. that. That wasn't gonna work from the onset. Yeah, well, I thought that at least we could go sideways and slide you, but there's not yeah. enough like- Length. Yeah, it doesn't go far enough. I don't think Cole cares to ever take a bath. Um, no interest. And getting out of it would have been challenging, so we didn't even bother <laughs> trying. Like, there was no point. I would have been stuck. Yeah. We would have been calling the fire department. So yeah, let's show you guys the edited TikTok we just made. Three, two, one, go. We've never done this before. Kind of nervous. Step one. Step two. Step three. Step four. 
we forgot about our tension rod, haha. <laughs> Step 5. It's not going to work, not safe at all. So hopefully you like that TikTok for more stuff like that. Go check out our TikTok. We like to film random stuff. I mean, when we feel like it. <laughs> yeah. We're not the best about TikTok, but we have cool videos on there. So the other part of this video is talking about why we've decided to take a break from trying this month. Mm -hmm. So as you all know, we've been trying for a baby for this month will be six months mm -hmm. of trying. And it's been a fun journey. I mean, I really enjoyed like learning about my body, mm -hmm. tracking. So it's been a long journey, but this month, of March, we are gonna take a break um, from trying. Yeah, and one of those reasons is we have more that we need to learn. Like, mm -hmm. like she said, we have learned a lot about ourselves already. Mm -hmm. Like, she's learned a lot about her body by reading books, and I've learned some about like my hormone levels and my blood work and all that stuff. The next thing we need to find out is if my swimmers are good at swimming, and the appointment date is right when we would have the perfect window for her to, um, what is it called? Ovulate. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, that stuff. So that window <laughs> is right when my appointment is to have my swimmers analyzed. Yeah, so you have like, you know, the five day, six day, depending, fertile window. And so to have his semen analyzed, there could be no intercourse for two to seven days. And so obviously we want to get the best results and get the mm -hmm. best understanding. So we're, we're like, you know what? that's fine, let's hold off this month. I'm not gonna take my temperature every morning and track what I've been tracking. So it's just giving us a mental break to stop yeah. stressing over it because at this point it has become a little bit stressful and disappointing every month when you take a test or art flow comes and you're like, man, once again, didn't work. And so it is a little discouraging sometimes, especially like going on six months and you're like, we would have thought by now, I mean, at least something, but we know couples, it can take up to a year. But yeah. that doesn't mean it's not like discouraging or like yeah down, a downer. The whole time you want to get so excited and want to be so optimistic, but that mm -hmm. the whole time you have to be so guarded with your emotions too. Mm -hmm. And then when it doesn't happen, like you don't even realize how excited or optim op optimistic you were. <laughs> yeah. And then you, the crushing disappointment is like, oh wow. And for me, the two week wait is so stressful because I sy symptom spot so much. Mm -hmm. And so I go up to Cole and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've never felt this before. That must be right. a sign of a baby. Oh my gosh, this must be implantation. I've never felt that before. <laughs> and like, so I'm looking up stuff like all night long on forums. I'm like a part of discussion boards on what to expect. And I'm just like, Charisma, you're doing too much. Like relax. Like I just couldn't help myself. I had to look at it all the time. I and I didn't want to do that anymore. It was just too much mentally. Right, so hopefully having a break or having a month off mm -hmm. will be a nice way to just sort of like reset, you know, take a step back for a second, see what the analyst or analysis comes back with. If there's further optimization that needs to be done, we can do that. And this is really going to help us understand what our path will be. Yes. Like if we find that my swimmers are great and like then Chances are we can do this thing naturally, but if we get the analysis back and it says otherwise, then we'll know that we need to take certain steps and that'll be very elucidating for us. And so I went to my gynecologist and she checked everything and my cycles every single month are right on point. Mm -hmm. Like I- It's like crazy. Yeah, it's like And so I've been, I've always been normal. There shouldn't be anything wrong on my end. And if there were, I would have had an indicator within my cycles. So we're pretty sure I'm okay on my end, which, you know, I may not be, we can still check, but right now we think it's just the swimmers. We want to check and make sure. So if the swimmers are kind of slow, then we can do IUI, which is in uterine insemination. That is actually way cheaper than IVF. And we've been saving since we started this process. So we have money saved, you know, for the baby, mm -hmm. for everything. Um, and so we can afford that, which is really good. I was surprised. I thought it was gonna be way more expensive and it was way cheaper yeah. than I thought. IUI is not too bad. It's the IVF that, yes. that we're gonna have to shell out the big bucks yeah. if we have to go that route. Yes, we're hoping that we can do IUI. Mm -hmm. um, we'll find out if we're able to when we do the semen analysis, um, if we're able to provide what we need to them easily, mm -hmm. then that, that'll determine if we can do the IUI. We're thinking that if the semen analysis comes back with slow swimmers, then that is the path we're gonna take. 
And with that path, we can kind of determine, okay, this is the month we want to try. And so yeah. hopefully it takes the first time because it definitely strengthens our, ch our chances, I think, in my opinion. It gives you that control yeah. back over the pregnancy yes. rather than just like being so powerless, mm -hmm. which is how we kind of feel right now. Yeah. So I know I'm ready for it just to relax. Mm -hmm. And it's around the time of my birthday. Literally the semen analysis is right before my birthday. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a cool time. I don't know. Yeah, it could be a good birthday present. We got good swimmers. I know. Yay, <laughs> yes. keep going. That is our update on our baby trying baby making process <laughs> yeah and i hope you all enjoyed watching the uh, the tiktok and our little conversation here thanks we appreciate all of you yes oh i guess he thinks we're watching i got uh, confused got i confused. was like wait thanks for watching <laughs> yes don't forget to like comment share subscribe and, and stay, stay positive. positive all right i feel like i have all this energy right now like Ugh. i'm so scatterbrained from all that we have a rocket league tournament so we'll use it there yeah <laughs>